Sakura, a modest electrician with a deep-rooted passion for photography, lived in the tranquil neighborhood of Triplicane in Chennai. This city, a bustling hub with a rich tapestry of history and culture, was not only the place where Joseph was born but also where he felt most at home. His life unfolded in a predictable rhythm, marked by the routines of daily living, until one extraordinary morning brought a change to his usual monotony. That morning, Joseph began his day with a customary pot of freshly brewed coffee, a beloved ritual that invigorated him and set the tone for the day ahead. As he savored his coffee, he opened the terrace door to let in the cool, early morning breeze, a practice that connected him with the serene atmosphere of his surroundings. However, this morning was poised to be markedly different, as Joseph scanned his terrace. His gaze was drawn to an unusual splash of vivid green, upon closer inspection. He realized that these were not mere random spots of color, but four emerald green parakeets perched quietly, while parakeets, with their bright plumage and sharp intelligence, were a common sight in India. Their calm presence on his terrace was anything but ordinary. With a blend of curiosity and cautious excitement, Joseph approached the birds, intrigued by their calm demeanor and their noticeable reluctance to flee. Typically, parakeets are known for their independent and elusive nature often swooping in swiftly for food before vanishing just as quickly. This encounter, however, was peculiarly different. Joseph speculated that the recent typhoon, which had caused widespread havoc across the region and left a trail of destruction, might have disoriented these birds or even caused them injury. Although his neighborhood had been spared the worst of the storm, the impacts on local wildlife were clearly evident. Observing the birds closely, he sensed their possible disorientation or distress. With a heart full of compassion and hands guided by carefulness, he gently created a nurturing environment on his terrace for the parakeets, where they could recuperate and regain their strength. Unbeknownst to Joseph, this simple act of kindness would not go unnoticed. Over the following days, as the parakeets gradually regained their strength, they began to exhibit an astonishing display of affection and intelligence. They developed a unique bond with Joseph which was as surprising as it was heartwarming. This unexpected friendship not only enriched Joseph's daily life but also highlighted the profound connections that can be formed across species through acts of kindness and empathy. It became a testament to the mutual respect and understanding that can exist between humans and wildlife, turning Joseph's ordinary life into an inspiring narrative of compassion and coexistence. This tale of Joseph and his feathered companions soon wove itself into the heartstrings of the local community, serving as a beacon of hope and human kindness amidst trying times. This remarkable story of interspecies friendship showcased the profound bonds that can be formed between humans and nature when empathy and compassion bridge the divide, with their vibrant feathers gradually regaining their luster. The parakeets became a symbol of resilience and beauty, capturing the hearts of both the local residents and people from afar. Joseph's simple yet impactful actions not only saved these beautiful birds but also reignited a sense of awe and connection among the onlookers. His story underscored the unexpected joys and reciprocal benefits that often accompany acts of kindness. Across all cultures, the universal language of kindness resonates deeply, and it seemed that these birds understood it quite profoundly. This sentiment of shared understanding and mutual gratitude resonated far and wide spreading wonder and joy among all who heard of this heartwarming encounter. What began as an ordinary day for Joseph had blossomed into a memorable narrative demonstrating the transformative power of kindness and the unexpected delights life can present at the most surprising moments. In the aftermath of an unspecified disaster, it was clear that not all creatures were equally fortunate. Particularly the small flock of budgies that found refuge on Joseph's terrace, these birds bore the visible marks of the ordeal, with ruffled feathers, bewildered expressions, and wings so damaged that flight seemed nearly impossible, touched by their condition. Joseph, who had no previous experience in caring for birds, felt compelled to help by providing them with sustenance. Without access to birdseed, he resourcefully offered them rice, which they accepted with enthusiastic chirps and voracious appetite. Over the subsequent days, Joseph's terrace evolved into a flourishing refuge where the birds feasted on the rice and drank the water he consistently supplied. His attentive caregiving seemed to be fruitful, as with each day, the birds' vitality and enthusiasm for life visibly improved. Gradually, they began to test their wings once more, though their initial attempts at flight were awkward and filled with setbacks. They gradually regained their confidence and aerial skills, all the while, Joseph watched their progress with a sense of pride. 
knowing he had played a crucial role in their recovery, while it remained uncertain if the parakeets would have survived without Joseph's timely aid, it was clear that his involvement greatly enhanced their survival prospects. As the birds recuperated, they not only returned to the skies but also brought with them a renewed sense of hope and joy to those around them. Birds were no longer merely visitors but had become an integral part of his life. Joseph's usual interactions with the parakeets not only continued but also deepened significantly, reflecting a profound shift in how the birds perceived him. Previously cautious, the birds now recognized him as a protector and ally. They frequently gathered on his terrace, a space they had come to regard as a sanctuary. Some even daringly ventured out into the open air before swiftly returning to the safety of their cherished retreat. This transformation of Joseph's terrace into a favored refuge for the four emerald green parakeets captivated the neighborhood, drawing both attention and praise from the local residents. They marveled at the strong bond that had formed between Joseph and the wild birds, a relationship that stood as a powerful testament to the resilience of nature and the impact of human empathy and kindness. As word spread, more parakeets joined the original group, creating a vibrant tableau of color and sound that enlivened Joseph's surroundings. The community's awe at this development grew, reinforcing the belief in the unique and deep connection that Joseph had fostered with these lively and sociable creatures. The local community's appreciation for Joseph only intensified. Viewing him as a symbol of hope and a living proof of the transformative power of compassion. One neighbor pointedly remarked, Kindness transcends all barriers and it's clear these birds recognize the love and protection Joseph provides. This sentiment resonated throughout the neighborhood, inspiring many and instilling a sense of wonder and joy in those who heard about Joseph's story. It highlighted the notion that even in challenging times, simple acts of kindness can have profound and lasting effects. Many admired and supported the relationship between Joseph and the parakeets as a poignant reminder of the benefits that could arise from increased acts of love and compassion towards all beings whether animals or humans. Before this episode, Joseph had never considered keeping pets, but he found immense joy and fulfillment in the time he spent with the parakeets, caring for them, watching them with keen interest, and ensuring their well-being, despite the overwhelmingly positive reception. Not everyone was enthused about these feathered visitors. When the landlord discovered that Joseph had allowed the birds into his home, he confronted Joseph with a stern ultimatum, the birds had to leave, or Joseph would have to vacate the rented property. Despite Joseph's attempts to explain the depth of his bond with the parakeets and their mutual dependency, the landlord's stance was unyielding. Faced with this difficult choice, Joseph began searching for a new place to live. One where he and his beloved parakeets could continue their life together in harmony. On Joseph's spacious terrace, exposed to the natural elements, birds were merely perched, a sign of ongoing tensions with his landlord. One poignant morning, Joseph witnessed an emotional event as each of his four cherished parakeets took flight from the terrace fence. Sequentially, they ascended towards the expansive sea horizon. With a mix of melancholy and tender affection, he smiled. Recognizing his role as their temporary caretaker and the profound influence he had on their lives, retreating back to his house, a blend of resignation and introspection washed over him. He pondered the deep bond he had nurtured with the parakeets consoling himself with the thought that at least this would placate the landlord. Yet, the tale took an unexpected twist that both Joseph and the local community of Chennai found astounding, a week or two after the parakeet's departure. Just as daily life appeared to be returning to its usual pace, the birds made a surprising return. Not only did the original four come back, but they also brought along several more companions, transforming Joseph's terrace into a lively center of activity once again, much to the joy of all involved. This remarkable reunion not only re-established the special connection between Joseph and the parakeets but also stood as a poignant testament to the enduring power of kindness and the miraculous outcomes it can foster. Initially, just a few additional birds began frequenting Joseph's terrace, but as the days passed, their numbers significantly increased. It seemed that the original group had communicated to others that Joseph's terrace was a safe haven. A sanctuary where they could thrive without fear, this gesture of spreading the word reflected the parakeet's sense of gratitude and trust as they continued to introduce more of their flock to this secure environment. Each arrival of new birds filled Joseph with a profound sense of pride and a touch of nostalgia. He fondly recalled the early days when small groups of five or ten birds began to visit. Over time, these visits grew exponentially, and within a year, the terrace was abuzz with over a thousand parrots, 
turning it into a vibrant epicenter of avian life. As the population grew, so did the spectacle. On any regular day, at least 300 parrots could be seen adorning the terrace. However, during the rainy seasons, this number could surge to an astonishing count of up to six. Zero, zero, zero. The birds displayed a vibrant array of colors and filled the air with their lively chirps and calls, creating a dynamic and picturesque scene that drew the admiration of bird enthusiasts and passersby alike. This unexpected avian paradise not only enhanced the biodiversity of the area but also underscored the unexpected and joyful outcomes of compassion and coexistence. Joseph initially had a clear preference for cooler, wetter conditions, finding them more comfortable compared to the oppressive heat a sentiment that was particularly pronounced during cyclonic weather patterns. In the beginning, Joseph's landlord was not particularly pleased with the increasing number of birds making their home on his property. However, as time passed, Joseph himself underwent a significant transformation in his perspective towards these feathered visitors. He began to actively nurture the growing avian community, providing them with food and shelter. This profound change in his lifestyle often left him in awe especially when passers-by would pause to admire the remarkable scene of numerous birds gathering in one place, a direct result of Joseph's initial acts of kindness towards the first few parakeets. This extraordinary journey has not only transformed Joseph's terrace into a thriving bird sanctuary but has also elevated him to local celebrity status, endearingly known as the Birdman of Chennai. His story serves as a touching reminder of the profound and unexpected connections that can form between humans and wildlife. Now, I invite you to share your thoughts on this remarkable tale. Have you ever encountered a situation as unique and captivating as this? If you were in Joseph's position, would you have taken the initiative to care for the parakeets? We are eager to engage with our readers and value your perspectives. So please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below.